this just in coming out of the NF uh, sports. Now, first of all, I'm going to talk a little bit about the Miami Marlins. Now, Major League Baseball, that is. There's been just a case of uh, Miami, Mar Miami Marlins catching the COVID, falling to the COVID pandemic. And according to this source, four Miami Marlins players have tested positive for the COVID-19 virus, totaling the body counts to 17, cases to 17, team, 17 uh, players and on the team. Now, I've always had this issue of reopening during this uh, pandemic, but they went on open the Major League Baseball season. Now, I will not be surprised if other players have caught the test positive for the virus on different teams. But Florida, Texas, California are most cases. I'd not be surprised if whether it's the Texas Rangers or the Houston Astros or even the um, Los Angeles Dodgers and California Los Angeles Angels or San Francisco Giants that catch the, the uh, COVID test positive for COVID-19. With them opening, numbers are only going to remain worse. Now, with that said, let's get on to some NFL news. Word has it that former 49ers linebacker Dana Stubblefield has been accused of uh, convicted of rape. Now, Stubblefield, I think he's maybe had some problems off the field after his uh, retirement. And it's kind of hard for NFL players to adjust after their playing careers have ended. Well, some make the transition pretty good. Others, not so good. And that's what happened with uh, Dana Stubblefield. Apparently he got convicted of rape. Raping, a, I think, a 31-year-old woman who has some development, developmental disabilities. And if convicted, he could face up to, I think, 15 years in prison. That's a long time. Considering he's almost 50 years old. And... Uh, Considering he doesn't have much luck maybe with his life. But hey, it is what it is. And that's just keeping it real in the sports.